So many PCs are great, but there's always been the question, can I get one with some power? Tired of these low-end processors that they put in these mini PCs. Can I get one with some power? And can I get one cheap for under $400? Well, that's a tall order, but I may have the computer that might fit all your needs. Listen, I have a mini PC here that have a total of 10 ports running Windows 11 Pro that has an Intel 11 Gen i5 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage with an option to expand up to two terabytes. You could connect three displays with this mini computer, two 4K displays, one 1080p display, and you could get all of that for under $400. But there's more, there's more. Let me explain. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So many PCs are good. If you wanna have a computer as the base and configure it to all the devices that you need, such as monitor size, keyboard and mouse, whatever kind of keyboard and mouse you want and whatever kind of monitor size you want, you could buy it having the PC as a base. But this configuration right here, 24 inch monitor, a mouse and keyboard, this configuration right here, including the computer, costs under $550, yes. $550. So look, one of my biggest issues with mini PCs is ports and power. But this mini PC fixed a lot of that. But look, you know what? Before I give my thoughts about it, <laughs> let's talk about what you get in the box when you buy this PC. First, when you uh, open up the box, you get the computer itself. Right, you get the computer itself. You get the power adapter. You get an HDMI cable, a Visa mount, because it's so small, you can mount it on the back of your monitor. So it comes with the whole Visa mounting kit. And also you get a user manual. So this complete package comes complete and ready to go. Now, as far as the price, as of me recording this video, $388. $388, I will leave those links on my website. Man, that's amazing. That's called savings. So look, let's talk about it. Two of my biggest issues with many PCs, and I think this computer solved it, is ports and power, right? Ports and power is my, my concern about many PCs. But let's talk about ports. And this computer has many of them. You got four USB 3.0 ports, one USB-C port, one audio port, right? In and out audio. You got two HDMI 2.0 ports, a VGA port, a LAN port, and a power port. So this computer is set up for you to add so much to it at your leisure. And you know what, it's more. These HDMI ports on here can output 4K at 60 Hertz. Now they do got a VGA port on the back uh, that can output 1080p if you want to connect three total monitors. So this is a complete workstation, right? A huge workstation in a small package which checks at least one of my boxes. So let's talk about power. Now this configuration has the 11 Gen i5-11320H processor in it, clocked up to 4.5 gigahertz. And that's on the 10 nanometer process. You got four total cores and eight total threads with a TDP of about 35 watts. Now this computer has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM clocked at about 37, 33 megahertz. And it has a 512 gigabyte NVMe storage, which can be expandable that supports 2.5 M2 SATA SSDs up to two terabytes. And it got the configuration in the box. You got Bluetooth 4.2, and it has the Intel Iris uh, XE graphics on here. So yes, it can handle light to medium gaming on this mini PC. So look, I ran some performance benchmark tests on here. I was overall impressed at the scores. Look, running the benchmark test, I ran two of them. 
Uh, the average scores about 76 percent uh, w when it comes down to performance. Now, the SSD score here was off the chart at 102 percent. Now, the graphics was a bit low. I expected that with the Intel Iris graphics. Now, the RAM performance on here with the DDR4 is about 80 percent, which is excellent overall. So the benchmark on this mini PC is great, but just think about this, right? For $388, you got off the chart scores on some of the things with this mini PC. So running multiple monitors on this computer didn't break a sweat. Opening up programs and browsing the web and doing full documents, I had no problems. Uh, look, watching 4K movies on this uh, mini PC, again, no problems. Look, my expectations on mini PC is very low, and this computer right here pretty much exceeded my expectation. Now, if you want to get medium to light heavy use out of this PC, it can handle it with no problem. And you know what? It does have a built-in fan in it, and it's very quiet, so that's really good. So let's talk about the pros and cons about this mini PC. First, the pros, the price. Under $400 for this uh, configuration. Now this full configuration is $550. 24-inch monitor, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, all included, $550. Under $550, which is amazing. Next, again, I talked about this earlier. This computer is quiet. It does have a built-in fan in it. And I like that because in my room, in my studio here, I got loud computers and stuff like that. So that's really good. Next, the performance. I was overall impressed on the performance of this mini PC. I mean, I'm overall impressed over price versus product using this PC. So I'm very happy with this product. Very happy with this product. But as you know, no product is perfect. And I wouldn't call this a kind, but I'm going to say this may be a kind to, to let people know some of the things that you need to know about this PC. If you're a hardcore gamer, this PC is not for you. Yes, you could play light to medium games on here, but with the Intel Iris graphics on here, this is not for hardcore gamers. You won't get 120 frames per second gaming on this mini PC. If you want a game on here, you do have to set your settings low, below the belt. And yes, you can get a good experience once you set your settings below the belt if you want a game on here. I don't think that's a kind. This is not a gaming PC. So when you hear stuff like, uh, you know, Intel Irish graphics, you already know that if you want to do some hardcore gaming, this is not the computer for you. But everything else, as far as normal performance, is off the charts. Opening up apps and uh, using programs on this mini PC, I'm overall impressed. Listen, I would leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check this out. That's what I'm talking about. I really like this. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the mini PC in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.